Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's a shovel and a pan. I'm going to put some paint in that I'm going to add a big striped cloud to my sky on this 12 by 24 inch painting. I'm going to start by adding a layer of Artist Loft white paint on top of an already pre-primed paint painted canvas that's dry which probably had a different plan for it, but it's what's ready, so I'm going to use it. And I do have to admit that fresh paint does slide a lot easier over a first layer of slippery wet, excuse me, slippery dry paint. And I might have to add a little more paint because I want to mix my sky color, which is incidentally going to be the background color of my bottom half also. At least that's my theory so far. So, I shouldn't worry too much about this. But I am going to give myself something to mix into. I'm going to use a little bit of sour lemon with orange crush in it. Which I'll probably use again. I've got some Vivid Intense Hansa Yellow. which is really close to that color. Cool. I've got a little bit of shiny taffeta. I had a chance to do this once recently with a yellow sky, so I'm kind of feeling like maybe I know a little bit about what I want. But I'm not sure I used enough paint. And basically I just want this yellow sky to be the background for my dramatic surrealistic clouds. But I would like it to go all the way up to the top. got to be careful with the 12 by 24 inch canvases because if you're using a spatula as you're going across you're going to hit that stretcher bar right down the middle unless you're pulling very gently you might wind up with a mark okay anything that I have on there that can come off should go on the bottom half and I don't much mind come on <laughs> open the top you silly woman who knows I could decide to turn it around to use a little more white get those things out of there The Axo Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatula from Good Grips is on my Amazon link and it is the best paint spreading tool I know of and every time I spread paint it makes it very easy to see when there's imperfections in the paint and pull them out. Usually I use my tweezers but right now my my fingernail will have to do now, I was a little nervous about this and I thought I would just lean it up against the back of my containment system that I generally use for holding back drips. Where's my... There's my shovel. I was looking for the abalone for the background but I'm not finding it so I'm going to use the Chantilly Lace more chance. No, it's not there. I have, I have no idea what I did with it. Now the last time I used Chantilly Lace I took the top off and I wound up with way too much paint. So check out 90, 9281 I think. So I want a bunch of weird colors. Oh I thought that true silver was open. I was sure I checked it in fact. But I was wrong. 
I might have a little bit. I'm going to try not to mix things too much. This is saffron. I'm going to lay them down next to each other. This is um, a vivid, intense Tuscan gold, which is gorgeous. And looks like it has something in it too. Come here, thing that does not belong. Now you could use these paints that I, my mixture is a little heavy. I definitely think that you could go a little bit lighter. This is my orange crush that I'm getting ready to mix some more of. Kind of wish I'd used a little more color, a little more Chantilly lace, but sort of pouring it out, that wasn't going to happen. This is the red violet with a little bit of golden diamonds in it. It's a vivid intense. I've got some more vivid intense Paroli orange. The difference between the orange crush, which is a prism pour, and the pearly orange is one is shimmery to the orange crush and the other is not. This is Indian yellow. I hope this works. Be nice if it did. Come on top, go back down. I've got a color I didn't put in and that is vermilion red orange. That's a vivid, intense, I think it's a fluorescent. Or maybe it's just a vivid, intense. I've got a, my favorite vivid outside of the red violet is a lizard rose. Which sort of spares me the use of the intense quinacridone red, vivid intense, but I think I'm going to use it anyway. Now I want more yellow than I've got, so I'm going to pull out light Hansa yellow, another vivid intense. I'm going to wish I had some more white in there, but there's nothing to keep me from putting some shiny taffeta. And maybe even going back again and putting some more true silver because I want some drama. Because there's often gray in skies. I don't think I need any more of the saffron, although <laughs> once I put it in my hand, it's hard to get it out. All right, so I'm getting close. Where's the Chantilly lace? I don't want to take too much longer because I'm afraid my paint is setting up. But uh, on the canvas it shouldn't make that much difference. I'm going to throw everything that I can throw into the bucket. I was not planning on spatulating across, but it could still happen. Now this is that was off my hand. This is my bottom half. I've got enough time, I hope. Cross your fingers. Not sure how I feel about that. I might like it in a minute. I think I want everything on this side to tip off. There's my big straw. What 
which may be something that I do in a minute. Kind of like it this way. I think I'm going to take that bubble out of there before I go any further. I kind of like it my way. <laughs> Better. I like that this paint has spread out. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to add some more Chantilly lace at the very least to the edge. And I don't suppose I have to go with the stripes because it'll stripe no matter what I do. So I'm just going to grab that and that and that. I am planning on tipping, I think. I think those little clouds at the bottom I can I can pull out. I'm going to see if I've got any more paint to use and then I put my container into the bucket before it gets any stickier. I don't think I need any more. I kind of want to take the shovel that I've got and add some of the red violet to it. And since I'm here, fluorescent pink, no. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Oh, I can use the Vivid Intense Magenta, another fluorescent, if I open it. I've got a couple. I've got a, a red and a fluorescent coral, and I should have probably thought about that. I'm going to tip this first. I wanted just this crazy sky drama. And it looks like I'm getting it just the way I wanted it to. Yeah, I think I'm going to drag, actually not a skewer, but as long as it's dry. Maybe it will be a skewer, because that's not working as well as I thought it would. That's just the end of my tweezers. And what have I got? I've got Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas, and that'll work. Just pick up some color. That's the ticket. And then I could probably blow into these. Oh, I see that thing. I don't see my tweezers, but they've got to be here somewhere. There we go. I just had them. That's rather large. Oh, they're right beside me. Of course they are. Of course. I think my my um, my bottom my landscape is going to be pretty sh shallow, pretty small. Yeah, I just got rid of those cute little clouds. Just going to take that one right over the edge. Now you could put curly cues, you could put spirals in these, you could do whatever you wanted to to make them your own. I 
I gotta pick some colors pretty quick here to put in the bottom half. I really don't want to use up all the paint in my spatula until I'm almost done. But I'm afraid it's gonna get sticky and I can't dedicate any space to it. Let's I've got a piece of glad press and seal. Of course it's upside down. Come on, get off my fingers. Let go! <laughs> ah. There we go. I got three minutes left. It wouldn't be the first time I made it work. Here's my straw. Hopefully there's no pain in the end. I kind of want to do though what I was talking about. Alright, so now, of course I put all my stuff away. This is the... Come out! <laughs> this is the Tuscan Gold. Here's some... Oh, that's not open. Here's some African Violet. Grab a little bit of Fandango, and then I'm not gonna. Well, no, I've got some marooned, and I want that too. If I can't have the indigo violet, I've at least got the marooned. So I grabbed a couple cards, but of course they're not in evidence right at the moment. But there's a whole stack of them here, so I'm gonna use a piece of acetate. And I'm going to use my wider card at first. Just some black, Amsterdam black and Amsterdam white, both in Aussie Flow Troll. And I'm going to put some boom gel, some pearlescent violet, and some teal. Because it's what handy, what's handy. Enough paint on my card to cover the edge. Use the leftover paint on my spatula. second layer in the background. Okay, I've got one minute left. And that's not really very much time to do much of anything, so I'm just going to say I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post at 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll probably torch to get rid of some bubbles. That was all about the sky for me anyway. Whatever I do, if it looks different, it's because I do stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's going to be, but I'd like to give you a close-up before you're gone. And if there's something glaring like that flat little edge sticking out, I'll fix it. So that was fun. Thanks for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos if you're inclined to. When you watch them longer and leave me a comment, you help me out, and I really appreciate it. That sky's pretty tremendous. I love you guys. I hope to see you anon. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I might have a little more time. Thank you guys for the comments, the kind words, keep my morale boosted. Thank you for the donations through the page.